Good morning, first grade foxes. Miss Peterson here, and today we're going to talk about um, a new alternative spelling for the sound j. Are you ready? Let's go. All right, let's practice with this sound. Ready? My turn, j. Your turn. My turn, j. Your turn. My turn, j. Your turn. All right, remember that the sound j can be spelled with a j um, to spell words like jump and words like jar. Okay, let's look at this word, jump. Remember that the j can be used to spell the j sound in English words. Let's look at the power bar under the J and what, tell me, what is the length of this power bar? Good job. The length of this power bar means that J is a very common spelling for the sound J. We can also use J to spell words like jump and jar. All right. Let's talk about the J sound for a second. J is a tricky sound, which means it is a sound that can be spelled several different ways. Okay, the J sound can be spelled with the letter G. Okay, I'm gonna say that again. The J sound can be spelled with the letter G. The J sound is spelled G a bit more often than it is spelled with a J. Um, I want you to look at the J sound spelled G, and I want you to practice writing that a few times. Is the J sound a consonant sound or is it a vowel sound? Good job, it is a consonant sound. All right, let's look at this one too. There is another way to spell the J sound. That way is to spell it G-E. Those two letters work together to stand for the J sound. That would be in words like fringe. Let's look at the power bar. What can you tell me about the length and what that means? Good job. The shorter power bar under the G-E means that J sound is not usually spelled this way. Whenever the spelling G or G-E for the J sound appears on a worksheet for a little while or in a story for the next little bit, it will be printed in darker, bolder ink to remind you that the G or the G-E can sometimes stand for the J sound. Good job. Okay, now that we know how to write the alternative spelling for the j sound, let's do a chain. So this chain is only going to use the spelling of g for the j sound. Are you ready? My turn. Age, your turn. Good job, that's our first word. All right, if that is the word age, show me the word page. Good job, if that's the word page, show me the word cage. Good job. If that's the word cage, show me the word sage. And if that's the word sage, show me the word stage. Good job. If that's the word stage, show me the word stale. Good job. All right, here's today's challenge. For today's challenge, I have three sentences that I want you to write. And after you write these three sentences, I want you to go get someone um, 
in your family to read it to you. And if it's a question, they need to answer it, okay? The first sentence is, would you like a large scoop? The second sentence is, what page are you on? And the last sentence is, can you see germs? Good job. If the person in your family doesn't know the answer to the question, they can just make up an answer, okay? Good job. And now you know that there is a spelling alternate for the sound j, and you spell it, you can spell the sound j with a g. Um, that's all for today's video. Thanks, I love you and I miss you. Talk to you soon. Bye.